Hi, in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can read in experimental data from an Excel file into M calibration in a quick and easy way. So here's my Excel file. You see there are some columns for one test and another set of columns for another test. So I'm going to select a first here in the Excel file, the first three columns, control shift right arrow and then control shift down arrow. I highlight all of these, control C to copy them to the clipboard. And then I'll switch over to M calibration. I'm switching to the data tab. And then it's going to go to edit, paste. And then paste in the data from the clipboard in here. And the headings are actually correct. It grabbed them because of in the Excel file, that was the first row, time, strain, and stress. Then I'm going to click on create load case. And um, it puts it into a load case here. And it says uh, strain control, engineering strain, engineering stress. So that's correct. I'm going to change this to test one. I'm going to save this. And here it is. Here is my experimental data from the first test. Let's do the other one too. I'm going to do it uh, as follows. So I'm going to go up to the beginning here. Instead of selecting the headers, I'm going to go from the first data row here. I'm going to just collect these in three clipboard and I switch over to M calibration and go to the data tab. There's all the stuff in the data tab. So I'm going to clear the table and I'm going to go to edit, paste, paste in the data. This time, the software doesn't know what these things are. So um, I like to specify that here, but set column name. I select the first column, and I know this is time. I select any entry in the second column. I'm going to set the column name here to engineering strain. And the last one, I set it to be engineering stress. Now it's well defined. I can create load case from this. I'm going to call this test two. I double check engineering strain, engineering stress. It looks good. I save it like that. And here's the data. I now have it in M calibration. One thing that I often do before I move on to calibrate something is I select the two load cases, I right click on them, and I rename load cases based on type. Then M calibration gives a better name to it. It gives a name that has a little bit more information. In this case, it includes the strain rate. So that's it. That's how you can quickly read in experimental data from Excel into M calibration.